posted the tires off there. I don't know how you guys do it with a front wheel drive. Like anything that's modded with a V6 Accord, it's uh, you guys ain't catching traction until third. There's no way. guys so today we're going to be installing the p2r um, throttle body spacer with the thermal gaskets this right here is the nitrous port it comes with that part so don't need to worry all i did was i took an eight millimeter wrench and tightened it um, not too tight because it's just plastic but so let's go ahead here and get this installed so i don't think it's going to be too difficult at all so this is a t40 so I'm going to be using that for um, those bolts there. Then we got a 12 millimeter, which should be for this. 10 millimeter to remove that part. And I'm going to disconnect the battery just to be safe. So once I disconnect the battery, then I'll unplug the clip here. And uh, yeah, pretty much just take this off, pull the filter back, those four bolts, one, two, three, four on the other side, and then install this. So let's see how long it takes. Okay. There we go. What's buddy's name? Leo. Leo, what a what a savage. Leo Garrett's mechanical trick. Cause I would have never, I would have hacked this up with a pipe wrench or some some hillbilly shit right there. Yeah, there you go. See, look at that. You're, oh, okay. It's already off. It's already loose. Loosey goosey. Leo, you're a friggin' genius. Now I'm just gonna scrape off the remaining little gasket here. There. There we go. Okay, you guys can't see, but that is gunky as really gunky and oily, so I'm gonna need a catch can. So make sure these are on the right way. They only fit one way. If they go the other way, they're not gonna line up. So once you turn it around, then everything's flush and even. And like I said, I used an eight millimeter wrench to tighten that nitrous port. Nitrous port, guys. There's a little hint, I think, of what might be coming soon. And out, pass your bolts through. I'm just gonna pass the top too. There we go. Oh, 
so I installed it upside down I think guys because I'm I'm bright like that as you can see there's a little gap here yep. so I'm gonna take this off again flip it this way All right guys, well, that's it. So it's all installed, didn't take long at all, very easy. So all you need is a 12 mil, a 10 mil, a T40, a 12, um, 12 mil wrench to get those bolts in case they don't come off, and then uh, Robinson or Phillips or Star. I just call it Star, I always get them mixed up. So I believe that's it for, for, um, for tools, that's all you need. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Very simple, like I said, and let's go for a spin, see if there's any difference. You're not gonna notice any difference, really. I think it's a uh, two horsepower gain, if that. I think it might add a little more torque though, which doesn't hurt. Now I am gonna go custom cold air, and I did wanna do a raffle, but apparently uh, you can't e-transfer from the States to Canada, so. I might just have to end up selling the intake because there's definitely not going to be enough people for a raffle just in Canada alone. But I do still have the giveaway for the LED switchbacks. So stay tuned for that. I'm literally just going to pretty much put up a video and say like and comment. Send me a picture um, that you're subscribed, you liked and commented, and then you'll, you'll, um, you'll qualify for the giveaway. So anyways... Uh, let's go take a little spin and see if it did a difference at all. Unfortunately guys, I didn't get out before dark, so I apologize, but the video is going to end at night. I apologize because I'm Canadian. So does anybody else with pre-cat deletes um, sound like it has an exhaust leak? Because I, I don't know, I can't find the exhaust leak anywhere, but as soon as it's started for like 10 seconds, it goes away. So I wanna know if it's just normal to have that sound with pre-cat deletes, or do I actually have an exhaust leak, so. And I also started putting octane booster again. I had stopped and my knock control was literally like sitting around 70 and then when I'd punch it, it'd go to like 1, 1 1.2, 1 1.0, and then it put the, um, octane booster again and it went right back down and now when I punch it, it goes to like 30 or 20s so definitely need that tune ASAP or just keep running octane booster but I do want a tune just don't want to get a tune before I get all my mods because that's just a waste of money I haven't driven this in a few days guys so far I don't really notice a difference but put a j-pipe didn't notice a difference i put k-tuner didn't even really notice a difference so i don't know it's hard to even the mufflers didn't notice a difference oh somebody's coming maybe he wants to race when i do pulls just randomly i'm not always trying to shift as fast as i can there's no point to like shift as fast as you can when you're not racing someone even when i'm racing someone if i'm pulling on them easily I don't really bang the gears as fast as I can. Like if I know I'm pulling, I don't even try to shift really fast. And um, also when I'm driving, but since I don't have a GoPro mount anymore, I'm literally like trying to video and shift at the same time. So my shifts aren't always right fast, but um, I know some people say my shifting's kind of slow, but. I'm not always trying to shift as fast as I can. I only try to shift as fast as I can on the draggy runs and if someone's pulling on me in a race. So, as I was saying, um, I don't notice a difference. You're not gonna feel a couple horsepower. You're not even gonna feel 10 horsepower. 
believe it or not, the biggest gains I've felt with mods was the intake with the stock tune. Um, with the K-Tuner, I felt it was slower than the stock airbox. I know people say, oh, it's all in your head because of the sound, but no, it's really not, because it still sounded like the VTAC was kicking twice as strong with the K-Tuner, but it just wasn't. With the stock tune, I did find the intake worked better. This, I don't know what to say. That's just how it felt and how it worked with the Draggy. It's, it, it did better. I did trapped faster. I did better times with the intake, so I don't know what to say, but as long as it's not heat soaked, you're sucking in more air, so there's no reason why it's not making more power as long as it's not a hot day. So anyways, as I was saying, I don't notice a difference, but if it adds a couple horsepower, then sure, why not? But with a cold air intake and a tune, I am going custom cold air. I'm just gonna sell my intake, so. Um, the best mods that I've noticed from the butt dyno is the intake with stock tune and the pre-cat deletes for sure were the best uh, mod by far like you're gonna get the biggest gains with the pre-cat deletes that was like <laughs> mind-blowing first gear how much more it pulled and believe it or not the lightweight wheels really uh, I really noticed a difference in acceleration with the lightweight wheels so right now I do have my heavier OEM rims so I am losing power there probably I'd say about 10 wheel with the heavier rims I know some people don't know but lightweight wheels are a big big difference and especially with the all-wheel drive all your wheels are um, less rotational mass on four wheels spinning you're gonna notice a big difference with lightweight wheels yeah 19s 20s they look great but you're killing the performance of your already not so fast TL so lightweight wheels are the way to go get some coilovers and fix the wheel gap and you're good to go but anyways guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button feel free to comment share subscribe and I will see you next time thanks bye